is up guys welcome back so it's been quite some time since i actually made a video just sitting and talking there has been a lot going on and i wanted to make a pre-launch video before wonderlands comes out of course tonight we're getting wonderlands i will be making so much content for you guys basically on wonderlands I'm going to be doing it through the whole life cycle of Wonderlands. I've told you guys this before, and we're finally here. Just a little bit longer, and we will be all exploring Wonderlands and enjoying the game. Now, the background is definitely changed a lot. I have my art table and everything. This right now has my Hyperion gun. Uh, there's a couple things I got today. Uh, but the Hyperion gun, Borderlands mask, some other miscellaneous things like paints and stuff that I had to get previously. Of course, the Claptrap. There's actually a vault key over here um, with that pop that I still need to put in the pop protector big case I got. Um, but I have a lot of other things going on right now. Um, I had to get rid of the couch that was in here. And that is because of Bunkers and Badasses. <laughs> so Bunkers and Badasses is what Wonderlands is based in. Um, if you are new to the Borderlands series or the Wonderland series, that is a board game that is like Dungeons & Dragons that is the Borderlands version of Dungeons & Dragons, basically. But we have a physical version now right here. That is Nerdvana Games, Bunkers & Badasses. We finally got a physical version of the game. I got it in. But since it's a D&D style game, you can make your terrain. You can do whatever you want to do. And for my first ever Bunkers and Badasses game, I'm making sure that we are set up and we're going to have an enjoyable time. With that being said, I've been making a bunch of houses um, from scratch, foam board, popsicle sticks. They look really, really good. But I kind of went on this little kick. Let me see if I could just turn this way. Look at Harley. I got houses like 3D printed. I got one down here. I got all of these. They they um I got some kits down here. I have a couple armies that I can build if I want to have the guys basically go against armies. Like I could be like, hey, here's some people that are gonna be painted up as Atlas soldiers, maybe. Or maybe some high period soldiers. I did do some loader bots. Um then I was like, okay, well, Bunkers and Badasses is in like fantasy settings, so how am I gonna do loader bots? Magitech. They are now Magitech loader bots. So basically, Hyperion's gonna be a Magitech kind of thing uh in my game. But you could do whatever you want. It's 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 a DD style game. If you love Borderlands and you are excited for Borderlands and you like tabletop gaming, don't don't sweat it. Just get bunkers and badasses already. It's it's gonna be so much fun. I know all the people that have played have had so much fun. I just want to make sure that we are ready to go. With that being said, um, and this is now set up, I got my gaming chair back. I finally can just roll around and do stuff that I want to do. And I can paint one minute. I can roll over, play Wonderlands or Borderlands. I can roll over here and just get things I need because I made terrain. I actually made little boards that we can connect, have grass and all that stuff. I'm really excited for this and I'm pumped up on making more stuff. For this game and I'm just pumped up for Wonderlands in general. This is going to be just an amazing experience. Um, I was thinking about streaming Wonderlands tonight but I think the safest bet for me to do is actually just record all the gameplay I can and then upload it as you know the time goes because if I stream there is a chance that I might uh, the stream might kick off because my fiance does play PlayStation and she is off at night so that might be an issue, but she does have to work tomorrow, so it just depends. I might stream, who knows? Um, but whatever stream I do do, it will save doo doo, <laughs> doo doo. But whatever stream that I do, um, will save on the channel as a video. So we'll just see what works, what doesn't. Um, I just know that when she's home and playing the game, it's probably not the best time to stream because my buddy also streams videos or like streaming like regular things like netflix that all takes internet and i'm on wi-fi up here you see what i'm saying i'm about to get my ass kicked uh off the internet but i'm really excited about this and um i also got a really cool light um that is kind of like this um i don't have it on like i have i have this big ring light for my videos and i've had it for a while 
Um, but it makes it really bright and it holds my phone. So that's what is right here. That's what's holding this up. Um, but I don't have it on because I felt like there's enough lighting in here today that I don't have to like just ha be blinded right now. Um, but I did get this light. I'll just, look at this. I can roll. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So I got this light and it's heavy as shit. And I don't know why it's so fucking heavy, but it is heavier than ball. Um, this Ikea light, um, what it is, is it's, it's a smaller desktop version of that light. So it's a small ring and then a phone, a phone holder on it. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can bend it any sort of ways. And I got this because obviously I've been painting minis for Bunkers and Badasses. And obviously I've been making and painting houses for Bunkers and Badasses. So I figured maybe I could make some painting content for you guys. So that you, can got, you guys can see how I paint the different buildings and stuff like that. Like, I'll, I could show you guys, because I haven't showed anybody on YouTube yet um, any of the... I don't think I showed you guys anything. I don't even think I showed you guys the minis yet. The minis are in a mini holder, like in one of the shoulder things. So, I'm not going to pull them out, but I will show you guys the buildings that I did make. And they are literally made from scratch. Not like the 3D printed ones like you see down here and, and uh, over here. Um... They're literally, like, from scratch. Foam board and, um, shit, what else is it? Foam board, popsicle sticks, stuff like that. Um, I'm off camera, I'm sorry, but I had to do this so that I can grab the stuff for you guys. Hopefully I don't drop any of it. Um, but I can give you guys a heads up on how I made these. Um, so this is just a random building. I said, okay, let me just, like, put something together that my Vault Hunters can go into. Um, first building I've ever made, ever. Like, I've painted minis before plenty of times. Uh, this was a different kind of thing for me. But I do watch a lot of Black Magic Craft, and his content is just amazing. I, I love it, because I can, I'm, I'm an artsy person. I can draw a lot. I can do anything I can, I can, I mean, look, I made that claptrap back there. Like, I just try to build things and do things and just be artistic as much as possible and with this like i did shingles out of cardboard that is literally just cardboard sheets cardboard sheets and popsicle sticks this is foam i etched the foam to make it kind of look like wood and i made it where you can use it so this is the top floor apparently but that's a wood floor with a little you know piece that they can stand on with the door that they can go out of um, and then I made it where the first floor, when they go in there, has a staircase in there. So when they go in, they'll be able to go up the stairs that they want, depending on what you want to set this up as. And, and I want to make my models and stuff modular so that I can use them really in anything. Like they can go ahead and one day it could be a bar, a small little bar or, or pub for the characters to go into or it could be a a storage place like you, they, they could store things in there it could it could be a, a small damn library who knows but i also made a gun shop now in in uh wonderland's marcus's gun shop i think is called marcus's cannons so i went ahead and just i found a mini that kind of reminded me of marcus um but i wanted to go for the the aesthetic i thought it would be like so i kind of this is all actually wood i, I got little wood pieces and i just wood carved or not wood carved but i wood burned all of that in there these of course are still popsicle sticks this is foam this triangle piece is foam this is cardboard, of course. I did that. My buddy John actually uh, let me use some paints, and it was had a green tint. And I said, you know what? I can make the sign green because this picture's green, and I wanted to to use this picture as the sign because that's the character that kind of gave me that Marcus feel. He also came with another like a female character, and it looked like Moxie, and that's why I really bought it. I wanted a Moxie mini, but had a hard time trying to get one. 
But once you actually get this, right, and I made this entire thing from scratch, you can actually shop at a gun shop. So I did post this stuff up on up on uh, Instagram, but I wanted to kind of show you guys because, I mean, there's a lot changing here. Um, the setting, I mean, the background is going to be different. So if I ever stream with, you know, a video of me, it's not going to look the same because I kind of changed it up in here so that I can make room because Bunkers and Badasses is, is taking up half the room because I want to make sure that everybody has fun and, and can visualize everything and see what's going on. All these buildings, too, are actually, like, pieces you could take off exactly like how they are. These are 3D printed so that you can pull off different pieces and the characters can explore inside there. So my Vault Hunters are going to be probably so into this game because you can just explore so much and i can reuse a lot of this or just use different pieces of it and say this is like a broken up building because some of them can look broken up if you just don't use the top it's it's gonna be so much fun so this is just a pre-launch video that i wanted to get out because once wonderland does come out i'm going to be just covering that so much um i don't know how much time i will have to make content for bunkers of badasses but i do want to make bunkers of badasses content just like ba like basically my journey into and up to my first game of bunkers of badasses because i'm going to go in full swing got the game i'm thinking about getting another one but just because i want more <laughs> i want a second copy of the minis so that i can just paint them i don't want to paint the ones i got originally i'm scared to use some of the stuff in there i don't want to mess up any of it but the boys want to play, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that we we have a good old time playing uh, bunkers and badasses. So leave a comment down below if I should make more content for bunkers and badasses, like that journey to my first game. So if you guys want to see any miniature painting, if you guys want to see any um, painting of the 3D printed models I got, or if I do another building from scratch. I might just make a video on that just for the hell of it because I feel like you guys would want to see that anyway and who knows when the next time I'll do. I have a lot of buildings now. I can I can run a first game now, but I want to get them all painted. So And I still have two more buildings to build because I have model kits down here that are buildings. These red shit, these red boxes, they're buildings. So I'm pretty happy. I'm like, I'm really happy with this. Like, I'm I'm extremely excited because I can just go from Wonderlands to playing it in real life. So, it's really exciting. But, that is it, guys. Um, remember to leave this video a huge like. Remember to comment on uh, future content on Markers of Badasses. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know in the comments down below. And, of course, I will be dropping videos starting tonight. And, I will also probably be streaming... Either, if I'm not streaming tonight, I will be streaming tomorrow while Shay is at work. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Hopefully it holds up. And yeah, that's about it, guys. So I will all, I'll, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye. Last fire will rise behind those eyes. Black house will rock Lost